Hello and welcome back for the level 4 edition of Purple Rain, our Storm Singer life. A familiar uh, setting here, sitting down in the uh, surrounds of the catacombs. We seem to do this uh, once every life. And for this particular uh, character, this is uh, a bit of a nightmare. Undead, as I'm sure most of you are aware. They can be blinded by the colour spray, but they certainly can't be stopped by the uh, sound burst that we have as our main source of crowd control now. So let's just take a minute to um, go through what happened at 4. I tried out the level 2 electric spell, Electric Loop, and found that to be pretty underwhelming compared to sound burst. So I ended up swapping that out for blur for a bit more defense i swapped color spray out which was very lukewarm compared to sound burst again swapped that for um, expeditious retreat so i'm not having to constantly uh, swap in those boots so that's the spell side um <coughs> level up we took some more charisma obviously all charisma this build we added our Reaper points, so between the caster and the um, Grim tree for more... Uh, the dodge will come in handy because we'll only ever be in light armor or, or less. In this case we're in robes still. Um, another DC there is nice and more, more charisma. So gear-wise, I've swapped out a couple of things. I should have put this in at level 3 for some electric. Now the um, I'm pleased to see that the electric um, thing in the Storm Singer tree, this thing, Lightning Strike, is triggering on Sonic spells. I'm pretty sure it wasn't doing before, and that was one of the, uh, one of the issues. But it's trigger, tr triggering, triggering regularly as it should be, so that's nice. So I'm hoping with those boots we've added, we can get some meteor um, triggers out of it. And I think that's been the case. Otherwise, I've just put the third point in shout to get the spell point cost a bit lower and the cooldown lower. So that's, that's nice, especially as we're going to have to brute force our way through these catacombs. Speaking of which, oh my god, the the crypt of Gerard Dryden that we've just done. We had the worst possible setup for that. These, uh, not the shout, but these sonic blast things, they open all the um, sarcophagi on the walls and loads more monsters come out. So I was left often with a dilemma, do I shoot the thing in front of me that's trying to kill me and risk opening more? Or do I wait for uh, Shout to come off cooldown and, and, and do it that way? Or do I abuse the system and use these uh, overpowered cookies? In the end, I did a mixture of all. I th as far as I know, there's only one shrine in that quest. And I ran out of uh, mana. I was on Echoes of Power long before the end. So I did end up having to lean on the cookies to get us through. I saved the last of our Blade Barrier cookies for the army of ghouls that comes out of the center room at the end and basically just kited them through and, and back until they were gone without that i think it would have been a tough old uh, thing but i uh, i was determined having got that far i wasn't going to let it go and yes i was a bit silly trying it on on reaper but uh, it is what it is that's what we did so that's the boots uh Gloves are the same. What else have I changed? I don't think... Oh, yes, I did swap in a um, devotion club for our um, heals because we're not doing anything with um, cold anymore. So it's uh, devo devotion, sonic and electric now that we want. Uh, we've upgraded our braces. Some fortification, spell saves, dodge. Dodge is nice to have, as I mentioned, on this build. So we've got four, we 
which will be seven in Reaper, so not terrible. Another little layer of defense. And the cloak and belt we've upgraded as usual. So the mimic cloak, nice for a bit of DR. And the belt for some false life. And healing amp. Actually, I could get rid of those gloves because the radiance is useless to us and the healing amp is better on the belt. <laughs> so nothing amazing there. I've added the Revelers Regalia from the um, Night Revels event. It's a nice boost to spell critical damage. So nice to do against a, a boss or a nasty fight or a room full of stuff. Um, it's great if you're in robes because you can just quickly flick across from one uh, robe to the other but if you're in light armor or higher and you have to wait for the armor to be equipped again after you've triggered this then you're losing a bit of it uh, you know while the armor is um, it's like when you're resting at a rest shrine isn't it when they, there's like a timer for the armor to be equipped again so that's that's less than ideal but when you're when you're wearing robes it's uh, particularly nice this uh, what else have I mentioned oh yeah I already mentioned that sonic blast was a disaster in the quest we would just done I think that's about it for the waffle so which quest do we have for you today? We're going for the setting the wards. So between our clickables and our buffs that we've got and potion of heroism, we're not doing too bad. Saves are in a reasonably good place. Sadly, we won't be able, be able to make use of our holds at all. The spell powers aren't in a terrible place. The ones that matter, look, electric, um, positive and sonic are all above 100. And the crit chances for them are all enhanced. Electric and sonic are above 20 because of the um, uh, energy criticals past lives he has. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll trigger this straight away, having just seen that Plague Reaper down there. Okay, that's proof that we can deal with the Reaper as long as it's at distance, without resorting to cookies. Back, 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 wait for the shout thing to come off cooldown blast them that's what we want so that's going to be our uh, staple attack now that that shout the main altar i think i actually did this one last time around didn't i and got absolutely mauled by some big uh, red crown whites in here. Yes, I remember it. Let's try and get the two together if we can with the uh, shout. Did I just hear? Oh, I thought I had. So we, we doubled the damage on that hit with the electric uh, trigger. Which was nice. I really should be using the uh, sonic blasts to do the breakables, but... Ah, breakables. Words are etched in the archway. The winged serpent stands before you. Come on then. Get 
get rid of that thing before it can hurt us. That was a pretty good job. Sometimes, as long as you've killed the uh, white, if you trigger the shrine, the remaining undead just collapse and die. So it's a good idea to do that if you're uh, not wanting to finish the rest of the, the things off. Well, let's see what we get for our silver roll. Ah, <laughs> typical. Oh, oh. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just try and finish this one without triggering, triggering the rest of the things. The range on the Sonic. Oh, another nicely, nicely timed uh, trigger of the electric thing. So you see, it's, it's going off quite often. It's supposed to be every one in five, and I, it's, it's happening. It's being really good, that. <coughs> you hear a clang from the nearby what's coming. This trap is definitely timeable. Just wait for it to come through and then try not to uh, dally too much we on your way to the lever. Reach the bars before the conflagration chapel rise. What are these? Boots of jump and boots of jump. Why have we got? Get rid of that and put the boots down there. Words are etched in the earth. Try and do the same as last time. Funnel them through here. Oh God, red crown. Nice. That priest has really got to die. Oof, did you see that? Not nice. You may now relight the flame. So you see the, there are things coming up there. Oh, he didn't die. Perhaps because he was still spawning in. Maybe that was a mistake I made there. And we took quite a pummeling there, didn't we? So unlike last time, I am collecting all the loot. Crystal Cove is done this time around, so I'm not bothered for the compasses. I did collect, uh, as we failed so miserably last life, to to get any... Oh, that's nice. That's obviously a crit. So that's just cure light. Well, no, maybe it wasn't. Or maybe they... I, I'm guessing they were two crits, because for a cure light wounds, that's uh, really good. I did think about... Um, putting a point or two into there I might still do for the um, there's a cure light wounds spell like ability you can have instead of the sonic blast and we could put our maximize and empower on there so it would give us a, a low cost um, souped up heal which would be quite nice Having, having that shout on a short cooldown is absolutely uh, making it much easier. Let's hit the boots of jump. Yes. I'm pretty sure there are traps on either side of that uh, thing we just got round. Same as before, we'll retreat back into here, funnel them through here. You will have to destroy his As you 
Oh, beautiful. That's sweet revenge for last time. We one shot them this time. I could actually just go and leave that thing in there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, can we? Oh, yeah. Nice. Just had enough. Right, now the crown is the one that's got to go first. I should have turned and got two with that, or at least two with that shout. Keep moving if we can. Okay, that'll do. I gave them a chance there and they didn't take it, so thanks for that. Let's see if we get anything in the chest. I'm being stingy and not using a potion to get rid of the curse, seeing as the quest is over already. Silver flame braces. Protection from evil, clickable, not terrible. Okay, here in endeth the uh, episode four. I don't think that was too terrible. I think we showed we are, of course, we're vulnerable to the spiky damage you can get at this level from the red crowns. But contrary to the poor uh, melee we did in the last life, at least we're not having to stand next to them. So we're being able to do, in, in the case of these uh, sonic blasts, our damage from extreme distances. So if we spot a reaper in the distance, we can, uh, we can really chip it down before it even gets close to us. So that's, that's a huge advantage over the last life. And that I th I'm pretty sure I wasn't doing uh, reaper around this time, or at least uh, not for the non-recorded um, episodes, whereas now I'm trying at least to stick with uh, Reaper 1 for the duration. So I don't think that went too badly. Certainly better than the uh, poor monk managed when he got mauled by the uh, end bosses. Something to do with him being good alignment perhaps against those evil spells. So I'll remember that for future reference. Right, I'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much as always for looking. I'll get the um, catacombs finished, then maybe we'll go and have a go at the uh, the gatekeeper's chain. And possibly see you in episode 5 for some uh, salt marshing. Take care.